Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an experiment. I received a comment, as you can see on the screen, and as a result, I have made a 70 overall player with AHL potential. Medium AHL top 6. And they are going to be playing with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. So, I'm probably going to do, give or take, 6 or 7 years and see if they develop or not. Maybe they'll turn out sick, maybe they will stay at 70. I doubt they'll go down though. But, you never know, I suppose. So on that note, let's go ahead and get year one started, shall we? I wonder if, and if so, then how much this player will bring down Dreisaitl and McDavid. Or, if you could literally put me out there and they would still light it up. That is probably the case. I also wonder how many points this individual is going to put up. Our team's doing well, so clearly, they're not bringing the team down. Apparently, I left player morale on. Um... I'm gonna turn that off real quick. Or, better yet, I can just turn off morale meetings. That is a life hack. We're doing experiments and making groundbreaking discoveries. What more could you ask for? Definitely a successful first season. I'm just gonna do the playoffs all in one fell swoop as well. And so far, we're looking pretty good. The Vancouver Canucks absolutely rinsed us in round number two. We had a blowout 9-1 win. But that was it. The team finished with 113 points, which was almost a President's Trophy, just being beat out by the Colorado Avalanche. And now let's see how Laflemme did. Where is he? Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. It... Did he get sent down? Because at the end of the year, they do that, you know? Or maybe he just ceased to exist. Hold on, let me check the contracts here. Because he's got to be under contract. There he is. So he put up 43 points in 82 games. He still got- oh no, he went up to high AHL top 6 and 73 overall. So, that's an improvement. And at the start of the new season, he's actually in the lineup at 75 overall. So, he has gone up two more. Somehow after preseason, he went down to a 74. That's odd. Also, I just realized, no, Dreisaitl's playing with him. Get out of here, Nuge. Definitely not an ideal start. 0-3 and 0. But, definitely recoverable still. Oh yeah, there it is. 8-4-0. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no doubt just a shaky start, but the lads are back. It's always interesting to see the potential change because I feel like that doesn't happen very often unless, you know, the player's on a downswing. I don't really see it go up very often. I'm already impressed that he's gone from medium AHL to high AHL, but let's see if Laflemme will take the next step this year. Will we be first in our division? We were there at the moment. Yeah, I think we ended up getting first. Nice. Nice little sweep in the first round. Love that for us. Congratulations to the Colorado Avalanche. I feel like that's the most I've ever pronounced that word. Congratulations. Also, why is Andre Kuzmenko the leading player for points in the playoffs? 98 points did get us first in the Pacific, but in the league, it's not going to be so hot. We just had a really bad division. We got ninth, okay, so that's still decent. Top 10. McDusty put up 102 and Dreisaitl put up 83. I probably have to go find... Oh no, he's still here. He's actually here this time. He put up 27 points, so a bit of a step back for him. Still high AHL top 6, 75 overall. Has he peaked, ladies and gentlemen? That is the question. I suppose we could see some off-season growth because we did last year, so it's possible. Ooh, the fact that he is not placed in the lineup scares me a little bit. Dylan Holloway up to an 86 overall. Nice, that second line is solid. But we need the first line to be solid because Laflemme went down to a 73 overall. He still got the high AHL top six, but... A little bit of a step back this year, unfortunately. McDusty and Dreisaitl, I'm gonna need you boys to step it up this year, all right? 100 and, what'd he get, 202 points? That's simply not enough. We need more. We need more cowbell. Once again, the Oilers as a whole, doing solid, all right? 30 wins, 30, 17, and four. Very, very efficient record. But is Xavier Laflemme doing efficient? We will find out. Stay tuned. I'm starting to wonder if, like I said, there's a peak, you know? He could get this good. He's got high HL top six, but... Stunted there. Just physically cannot get any better. I suppose we will be finding out, and it looks like the Edmonton Oilers might finish first in the Pacific yet again. That will be back-to-back -back seasons. It's very close. They need a big win here. They don't get it. Still possible. Might have taken it. Make it past the first round? Yup, there we go. The Golden Knights. Light work. In five games. Now we got the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, and... Oh, it's possible. No, we're done. Well... 
It was a good run. The Ottawa Senators go on to win the Stanley Cup. They get the ultimate prize this year. Leon, nine points in 11 playoff games, 108 for Connor. I did ask for more than last year, and I believe that is more than last year. So he delivered, to be fair to him. 102 points was enough for first in the Pacific Division and good enough for sixth in the league. So these two guys did well. They are self-sufficient. Where is Laflemme? Is he on here? No. So he probably got sent down again. He's back up to a 75 with the high AHL top six potential. How many points did he get this year? So he put up 31, still a step back from year one, but a plus 27, not too shabby. Three game winning goals. Apparently he's taking face offs, so that's fun. I don't know guys, it looks like the Gus bus might be out of gas. I think it's when players turn 27 that their growth is sort of stunted and that's pretty much where they'll be. There are some extreme circumstances, of course, where that could change, but generally, I think that's sort of the rule. Um, I think I just saw Tyson Berry on a $10.3 million deal. Can we confirm that, please? Oh my word. What is this auto GM doing? Connor's contract is up this year too, so I might have to override the CPU and manually do that one. Once again, the whole team looks solid, so I think that playoffs are a definite. That sounds wrong. They're a guarantee? That's way better, but is the other one still grammatically correct? Or would it be like playoffs are definitive? Huh. I am not an English major. Shocker. I know. My primary language is actually code. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks are having a mighty fine season, so we might not win the Pacific this time, but regardless of that, the team is still performing solidly, which is all I really care about. Holy crap, the Ducks 53, 16, and 7. That is a season for the ages. Seattle will be the first round opponent, and it's not looking good. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go. We got the Ducks. Gonna be a tough one, for sure. They have a very solid squad. Oh boy. Reverse sweep? Oh yeah? I actually believed for a minute there. The New York Rangers are your 2025 Stanley Cup champions. 26 Stanley Cup champions. Uh-oh, only 91 points from Connor this year and he's a 96 overall. He was 97. Seattle finished second in the division. We actually ended up getting third with 97 points. Laflemme is here, 37 points in 82 games. That's most important. He's still AHL top six forward. 76 overall. So that is the highest we've seen yet. Oh. They already signed him to an extension, I guess. So we're all set then. I'll let the auto GM do the rest. I will try to get Yamamoto though. He's 85 overall. How much cap space do we have? Oh, yeah. Sign him up instantly. 77. If we see an 80 overall Xavier Laflemme, I'm going to be gassed. And the other good news is we have McDavid and Dreisaitl both locked up, which will definitely take our boy to the age of 27. So we don't got to worry about that anymore. The Oilers did not lose a single preseason game in regulation which means literally nothing but just thought i would announce it anyway i want to say this is probably the worst record we've had at this point in the season but it looks like they're turning it around yet again it hasn't come out yet when i'm recording this but i think i i'm debating between violet and scarlet i think i'm gonna get violet and for those of you that are totally confused and have no idea what i'm talking about the new pokemon game on the switch and i am absolutely gassed. I cannot wait. It's very close. Actually, it's a week today. I did like Sword and Shield, although they were kind of easy and not a big fan of Arceus. I just didn't like it. Strangely enough, it's not fun for me to go catch 432 Bidoofs, okay? It was definitely an interesting spin on the typical Pokemon game you would expect, but I sort of hope they go back to their roots with Scarlet and Violet, which it looks like they did. Anyways, enough of that. It's playoff time, and we are sitting pretty, making it past round one against our arch nemesis here. We have the Ducks in round two. It is a best of three. Oh no. They get the better of us again. They just have our number. And this year, they go on to win the Stanley Cup. McDavid, nine points in 11 playoff games, put up 106 this year, so that's good. We finished with 100 flat, which got a second in the Pacific and should be a top 10 finish in the NHL. Yep, we got seventh. I do not see Laflemme, which is not a good sign. What a season, 53 points, that's the best yet. In 82 games, yep, yeah, obviously, that's how long a season is. Thank you for that statistic. He just upped his best season by 10 points, and he's still only 77 overall, high AHL top six. So I don't know. I don't know if we'll see an 80 overall. So I guess we'll probably do a couple more years and then see where he sits. That's probably going to be it, because I don't think he'll be going up anymore 
at that point, okay? I don't want to freak out or anything, but he is a 78 overall. We are so close. Not a great start, but I ain't scared because they continue to turn it around. I'm hoping they do the same this year. They're on pace, dude. Look at that. Look at them go. They just like getting off to a slow start for some reason. Yeah... They aren't really turning it around this season. I mean, they're still doing okay, but definitely not like they have in previous years. Which, of course, alright? He's about to get up to 80 overall, and now they're like, nah, never mind. I don't want to be good anymore. But it also seems that every time I chirp them, they start playing phenomenal. So maybe I just gotta lean into them a little bit more. Currently third in the division with 85 points. So playoffs are probably going to happen by the looks of it. Yeah, we're gonna be in the playoffs. Okay, so still a successful year actually holy if we win these next two games close 45 wins that's super good all of that for a first round exit because we're going up against the ducks who we cannot beat to save our lives okay well we got off to a good start and a game seven win wow all right how the turntables san jose yes oh yeah we're in the conference finals against the winnipeg jets oh no oh no yes no Oh, so close! Game 7! And they went on to win the Stanley Cup, but I need to point out 29 points in 19 games from Connor, who put up 97 during the season. So, definitely a standout playoff year for him. We got 96 points in the team terms as well. Tried to recover that, didn't really work. We'll edit it in post. Just kidding, it's staying in. 10th in the league. Solid. Xavier, 42 points. Bit of a step back. And, oh. Oh no. 80 overall is looking increasingly unlikely. Well, this is it. The final season. 96 overall Connor, 95 overall Leon, playing with 76 overall Laflemme. Let's go. Final season. Turn up the Jets here. Oh my, the Auto GM signed Moritz. 88 overall. Yeah, we're gonna be a good team this year. We look absolutely nasty. Vili Husso, 86. Yeah, okay. Why does it always seem like it's the same part of the season that we turn up the Jets? But we also just went on like a four-game losing streak. So, I don't know. We're not looking great. We might not even make playoffs this year. This is the first time that they're iffy. Caulfield for Pulock in a second. Okay. Fourth in the division. Not too many games left. We're gonna need to take home basically straight wins from here on out and we already failed against the jets i guess our hopes are still alive kind of no i think we're done well that sucks connor put up 102 though so he played solid we ended up finishing fourth in the pacific with 88 points yeah we don't deserve to be in the playoffs at all what's the final verdict a 50 point season 50 in what is this what year are we in 2029 50 and 29 let's see He's gonna be 78. Oh, he's 76! He went down more. Well, that's lame. Well, we tried. It was an experiment, and I guess that failed? I think I want to call that a failure. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining, and yeah, if you have any other ideas, be sure to comment them down below. But on that note, I will see you soon.